Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 4! Um, well, in our last parts we, well, at least completed a dungeon. That's something accomplished, right? I mean, it's not like we can accomplish more than that, maybe. Well, hopefully we can get at least this next dungeon that I'm going to. Spoil, spoil, we're going to a dungeon in this game, uh, episode. And, uh... Crap, what was I saying? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter, probably. Let's do this. I know I've been stalling this for a little bit of time, but yes, now we get to go to the right. I mean, up. Or whichever direction it is. Well, the camera turns. Look at that. Is that red? And green? <gasps> yeah, if you went up there all this uh, earlier, before you defeated both of those bosses, Blossomon and Mammothmon, then those switches would be gray, not green and red. So guess where we're going. Hmm. Yeah, be this. Delayed reaction launch. Yeah, 1650. Sneak attack. I don't know. Drop something. Come on. This, this that's the bad thing about these guys. They're really weak, they don't give experience good experience points, and they don't give any good items either. Well, I guess they can drop health discs, so that's kinda good, but eh, I kinda need to see, I suppose. See? There's I mean, but still, whatever. Oh, what was that? And some frames were dropped. Okay, you're ready for this. Okay, look at this. These guys are falling out of the sky. They're not coming out of the ground, they're falling out of the sky. What's with that? Well, I'll show you in a little bit, but I'm not going any farther, because I'll die. Bad okay, crap. Barely dodging these. I'm not sure how, because these guys are supposed to have good aim, and I'm not dodging very well. Okay, get back up so I can hit you down again. There you are. Okay, you want to use either your shot weapon or your magic right here. What was that noise? What was that noise? Look at this. There were two of those things over here. That was the nasty surprise I was talking about a few parts ago. Crap, I missed. Crap. Yeah, they can do a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure they do damage on percent of health, so they do a lot of damage when you get more health, which technically does the same amount of hurt to you, but more damage, which wasn't explained at all well, but whatever. Okay. Here's number two. The second one. Unfortunately, I explained number three first, but oh well. Whatever. Okay. See that that's not Chief Leomon. That is a monkey. I don't know. I think he's part of the Digital Security Guard. We need two IDs to enter the Goblin Fortress, but we have no idea how to obtain them. Well, obviously I did, so... Well, let's do this. Okay, let's go. Heck yeah, guard room! Okay, this is the different dungeon of the game. Meaning it's... Well, it's kind of not even really a dungeon, in a way. It's more like... Battleground. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, here's gonna be a really bad lag, which is gonna suck for me because I'm already screwed over. But this, this makes it so much worse. I mean, there's already lag from me recording and doing this at the same time, but this area is. Ooh, sweet blue. Naturally laggy, so... 
And considering the fact that they do more damage now for these versions, yeah, I may or may not be screwed over. Luckily, there wasn't much lag that time. But in about a little bit. But a little bit is going to be really, really bad. Really bad lag. And, ah, what was that? What was that noise? Uh, I can do the same thing. <gasps> yes! Well, I didn't see it because of the bad lag, but I think that was a keychain. If it was a booster pack, it would have been standing up vertically. I think that was like, horizontally, so it's probably a good chain. The weapon? Okay. I'll explain those once I get nine of them, which is the maximum amount of any um, disc you can hold at any given time. And that includes booster packs and keychains. Do you guys see how much experience points those guys give? Seriously, that's from 10 to 32, but they get a lot tougher, too. Okay, last part of this uh, floor. Actually, I might end the video after this one, because, well, the next part, uh, it's a really long time, actually. Not a really long time, but it takes, ooh, sweet, level up. But it takes time, so. This is actually one of the reasons why this is my favorite grinding spot in the game. Because, well, because of all the enemies and all the experience. And you can... I... Actually, no, never mind. I don't think you can go here multiple times. It's just like all the other dungeons. You have to exit the game before you can re-enter it and the monsters come back. I think might have to try that and disprove myself, or prove myself right later on. Like, once I get through this, I'll go through it again. You know? Stuff happens. These guys are there, seriously. I know I said this is a good grinding spot, but jeez, come on. Too many enemies. Did I do a spin attack without spinning? It's cool. Unless I just didn't see it. None of them dropped any items. I'm pretty sure. Crap, a lot of more frames skipped. <sighs> well, crap. There's gonna be some audio cut out there. Maybe. Unless I didn't actually miss anything. Which would be okay by me. Okay. 3, 2, 1, go! We get trapped by. Uh, lot, don't we? Oop. Ah, I can jump over a spiky club. Crap, crap. A horde of undead! Except they're goblins, not undead. A horde of goblins just doesn't sound as right as a horde of undead. Anyone else notice that? Like, seriously? You can say horde of anything, and it's more likely to be zombies or undead than it is to be goblins, I think. Personally. Crazy. Sweet, I might need that. Especially here. Okay. Well, I did just unlock it, that door, but I'm going to be ending the video here, because... Crap, I'm full of items. Well, anyways, I'm going to be ending it here, and going on in the next part. Because, well, this can get lengthy. Yeah, screw you, item. I don't need a battle axe anyways. Next time in Let's Play Digimon World 4! See you later, guys.